Hi guys, uh, back again another video. I'm now back on Barnsley Civic. Um, today we have got engine in mount inserts. Uh, if we don't break them first. Oh, no bits of work. Jesus, <coughs> stop throwing them at me. Um, so yeah, the inserts for rip them out the bottom. The engine mounts and everything else. Um, so I believe he's done his little waterproof test. Um, so we'll we'll do a comparison afterwards and we'll show you how we get on. So this is the Hollywood Dinosaur Movie Test Part 1. This is standard mounts. Let's start it up. It's alright that. That's the gearbox one. And um, we're thinking We'll take the three bolts off the gearbox and then just take the long one out, I imagine. That should do that out, shouldn't it? You reckon? Yeah, it'd be them them two there, yeah. one there, and then pull the one out. Yeah. And support well, the gearbox with the jack. All that's gonna do is if you take your metal mount off here, what we'll have to do then is take the bolts out of here. I was saying that you should be able to fit them in place anyways. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have a look at that anyway. Like everything on a Honda, yeah. It's pretty much all Hondas are, isn't it? It's an engine with the rest of the car rusts. Yeah. That's why they're so fast because there's, there's just rust. I thought it was all the Vauxhalls, but yeah, I think Hondas are starting to take that title. As a previous Vauxhall owner, own, Vauxhall owner, I'm deeply shocked at how rusty Hondas are compared to Vauxhalls. <laughs> take the weight with the jack. Stephen has a massive spanner. That's a, that's a massive spanner, Stephen. Come in a full selection. They do now. That's huge. So to get this centre bolt out, might have to take the battery off, which isn't exactly a hard job anyway. Let's put battery. Morning. Battery out just to make the space for that bolt, which is a 16 mil bolt. That should give enough space for that to come out now. Also see, also see how to unbolt the battery tray, which is helpful for a future video. Notice when taking the battery tray off, it gives us access to that bolt there. It's actually uh, stuck on with seam sealer. Um, it, four bolts, two underneath, two on the top. But um, it almost looked like it was spot welder on its face, but it wasn't, it was just sealer. So it's stuck on with sealer. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but there you go. So if you think it's spot welded on, just get a little screwy or what like a little pry bar and give it a twist see what happens but yeah so that now gives us access to that bolt and then there's one at the back hopefully as well which should be hopefully, space. hopefully should be enough space so the uh, main problem that we've got is because these are on studs yeah you still can't lift it and that's completely off the jack at now yeah, it's just, just, just the the two middle mounts so well, what we might be able to do is if you take them two off it might be a swing it and it, no, it won't come out either, will it? No, you have to no, go because it's still going to be stuck on the back one. So, yeah, we're going to have to get them out. Bloody Hondas. Just pushes in, yeah. God, that's simple, isn't it? Yeah. It's called an insert because the, the the process it's, that you do is what? Well, you insert, insert it. Insert, yeah. yeah. So, just testing it. There's some grease in that to help it actually go together to get rid of the gaps and everything, but... Yeah. yeah that's... In theory, it's pretty much inserted. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. It does, doesn't it? Not for a sec. Cool. Quite thick grease. I wish they'd coated the underside of the car with that. It wouldn't be so rotten, would it? I mean, sorry, they're all mint condition Hondas. Don't tell anybody. I never said anything. Yours was clean though. Was. Yeah. Kind regret, of annoying. I regret getting rid of it. You know, you regret not buying my car, so I probably should have bought your city. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Looks nice. Yeah, that'll pull in. Seven there, number two. Right, so. As with all Honda parts, they don't quite fit properly, but this apparently is what they're supposed to do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze them 
in the vise. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to, and then hopefully be able to get the mount over the top of it. That's the plan. Mm. Squeeze it that way. Hope that this works. It's not gonna work, is it? No, it's gonna pull the top off. Pull the top off. We have to get a G clamp on it as well. We will get it though. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely get it. Ah, <laughs> to tap me. Oh. This is this is the right action, I think, though, isn't it? I think it's getting closer. Definitely getting closer. What about if I leave it up slowly once it's on? That's probably a good idea, actually. If I can come that down. Come on, yes. Look at this. Right, wait a minute. Which way does it need to be? Where is that way? In fact, have we definitely got this right way? I don't know, I hope so. Let's um, take it to the car. Just double check it, <laughs> make sure we don't get it on wrong. <laughs> Upside down. Oh yeah, that way. No, no, right back no, to front. It's, no, it's the right way. No, it's not, it's back to front. Your two bolts at the back. Oh yeah, because one comes out. And you've got your two bolts. That's the wrong way. It's the wrong way, I want to go the other way. That needs to be that way around. Two bolts on that side, one bolt on that side. Start again. But we've got the action now. I'll tell you what, that worked quite well actually. Apart from being wrong. Sort of down. It's a lot of grease. A lot of lube, but it's there. That's it. On the right way. That was quite... One bolt at the front, two bolts at the back. Because we did this right the first time, we just did it wrong the second time just to show you how not to do it. Pro proving it, honest. Unbelievable. There you go. Apparently that is normal, but obviously, because it's going to bolt up through there anyway, it's probably going to be all right, isn't it? I can't. Oh, it's the metal to metal on the inserts yeah. through the centre, so it can't go anywhere. It can't go anywhere at all. It would have been nice if they were a bit more flush, but that's what you're saying. If they say don't trim them. Yeah, I read, not, I read don't trim, trim so I'm not going to trim them. If someone says we should have trimmed them, let us know. But I read that you shouldn't, so we haven't. Yeah, leave a comment if you've ever had any experience and done it differently or yep. always willing to learn. It's always good to read other people's thoughts. Come back in. Hopefully. We just need to realign and jack up bolt up and yeah that's the first one done right, done right so the front engine mounts in i'll take another video out in a minute but look at the back one sorry the gear look, look at the back one um that appears to be loose that bolt we haven't gone anywhere near it is it i mean fingernail in the back so that's a bit odd this has had a clutch actually at some point unless they haven't put the mounts in properly oh, the other ones look tight though look tight though Odd. What yeah. the hell's that? What the fuck? What does it do? It's uh, I think it's S6E brackets. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's one of them flash brackets. I don't even know what that does. If anybody knows what that is, just let us know. Let's try and get this one out. Right. So this has been subframe off. Well, sub yeah, subframe bolts sub out. Dropped. And then back mount out, which has been a pain, but um, to be honest with you, um, the bolts looked really dodgy, as I think I showed in one of them clips. Surprised they came out, to be honest, is what Steve said, but they have. That now means, all that there, it's just in the top bolt, but you can get that other bit out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so our biggest issue was going to be getting the, the bolt out manifold. between the mounts, past the manifolds. That'll come out of there. That's it. it will definitely come out of there. It will be made to come out of there if it doesn't. It's come out. That's a little pull one out. Stuck on the back of the box. If I can shift this front bit round a bit. Mm. 
tell you what, if I can push it back up and twist it like that, it'll just fall out. It'll just fall out, man. That's exactly right. I'll tell you what's in the way, is this... What did you say it was? This bracket? The S16 yeah, the, the thing, bracket. Basically, that's holding the whole car together, whatever that is. Please let me know what that does, what it's for. Is it a weight? What is it for? Like I was saying, the bolt coming out here, you've got your manifold running. Yeah. Too close. So, cut that one out. It probably would have come out on a standard downpipe, but... Oh, I forget you. Yes. Yeah, this is Toyo restrictive sports on this one. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of holes there, and that's going to be filled with that. We're going to plug them holes with a yellow thing. That's gonna, that, you can see why there is a lot of movement and why people buy these. Because all the movement is the front and the back mount. Seem to be. Yeah, it's flushy, doesn't it? It's a lot better. So that gearbox one was a mile off, but apparently you don't cut it. So maybe we've done that wrong, we don't know. But this one. It's got a little bit. A little bit, but it does fit better. Oh, yeah. See if it fits straight in there without any pry bars and vices. Hopefully. Which and, way do I need to be? That way. Yep. Yeah. And this was marked because of last effort that we failed at. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna go. I reckon that'll go. It's snug, but away. it's gonna go. So this is gonna take all the movement out. There we go. In. Easy as that. I say easy. It was a nightmare. That's Two that. little marks. They line up. That is definitely going back to the right way this yeah. time. <laughs> so the front one. Steve's idea was drop the front subframe down, and we'll pull it down, and then we'll just slot these in. Was the idea that one's just fell on the inch trace? So that's pretty good. We should be able to get them in, they go that way on, and then push the subframe back up. Push the subframe back up now. Which way around is that going to go? That's the other side. I need that side, yeah, because it's got a taper on the, on the bush. See, if you look at the other mount, that should slot in there a bit more. There she goes. And there she goes. That's it in. Beautiful. So I've tried to unbolt it from the box. Does I? So that wasn't too bad. So just do this side to go. So, you ready? Yep. Bit more, bit more. Yep. Bit more. That's it. Yeah, it's in, so we just need to we'll just wiggle it, wiggle and it in there. Here you go. Hopefully that'll, that should that'll work. go in. Yeah, yeah. We'll get a bolt back in. Bolt it back up and that's yeah. it. I mean that's a lot more. Well, it's safe taking the gearbox mount off. I mean, if you if you could be bothered and went in from the front with no radiator, it'd probably be dead easy, right? Whatever. Oh, that would have been handy if we'd just put a radiator in recently. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a point. Oops. There's the front one. There's the rear one. The gearbox one, which you can't see from under here. We've put it up there somewhere. I also got one of those a while ago, which I'm not sure if that's any good or not, but I got one of those as well. Looks solid, that. It does, it doesn't look like there's much movement at all in it. I'm surprised if, uh, you just see the tiniest amount there, but yeah, for the set of, set of mount, uh, inserts on original mounts, yeah, yeah impressed with that. So as per all videos now, try to do the how much does this cost, it was £72 eBay, I'll put a link into the ones I bought at the bottom, but yeah, £72, you might get them cheaper, but that's just the price I found of course, that's the price I pay, power flex, now let's do part two of the Hollywood dinosaur movie test, eh, no, I'm in neutral, sorry, right so this is part two, um, I haven't got my keys, that would help, Damn. Oh, yeah. yeah, right. Thanks for my keys, Steve. Uh, right, let's try part two then. Let's see what this goes like. If this goes everywhere over the carpets, I'm not going to be impressed. It's definitely, definitely got more vibration. <laughs> 